Hey guys, Budget Jedi here. I wanted to share with you a little weekend project I think I'm going to try out. Uh, this, as you can see, is my 6-inch Black Series Kylo Ren. And um, as you guys may or may not know, Hasbro announced a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive this year that was pretty much the Kylo Ren figure, but with a whole bunch of new accessories. It's got the unmasked Kylo Ren head. It's got a melted Vader helmet, as well as a very cool looking First Order banner. Now, I wanted to make that banner for myself or my figure um, because not only does Hasbro's banner look a little small, but also I wanted an excuse to use up all this extra cloth that I have pulled up. In case anybody's wondering, um, I bought all these from a local sewing store. Uh, if you go to your local sewing or craft store, they must have tons of uh, cloth being sold out. Uh, but I would suggest that you go to the clearance or the overstock section. Usually it's a lot cheaper. You know, I probably got all these pieces of cloth for a uh, dollar or two dollars for two or three yards each. In terms of the idea itself that I have, it's very, very simple. I'm going to take a piece of cloth and then I'm going to spray paint the first order symbol on it. And in order to do that, I will have to make a first order symbol template. So the first thing I'm going to do is basically look up the first order Star Wars symbol. And if you just Google search it, it will come up with a lot of um, images. And I believe this is the image that looks like the banner. And what I'm going to do is save this image and then print it out on a piece of paper. I just printed the logo and I chose the size as about a quarter of the page, which I think should be enough. All right guys, so I've got the printout of the logo. First thing I'm gonna do is apply some tape to the piece of paper uh, because paper is very flimsy. So I'm gonna put a layer of tape over it. I'm hoping this will make it a lot more sturdy especially when I lay it down on the cloth later on. Just one layer piece of tape on each side. Now I'm going to cut the template out. Now I've got the uh, exacto knife, but I really prefer my box cutter. Doesn't really matter what you use, I guess. I'm just going to cut it all the way through. all sides of course. Now what I'm doing is I'm cutting the inside part excluding the black six-sided shape on the outside. Take this part out right here. Didn't really do a good job so I had to recut some parts. And that's okay. See if it works now. There it is. Now Next thing we're going to do is actually use my X-Acto knife to cut out all the black parts inside the shape. Now this is a very tedious process, so I'm going to go ahead and speed it up. It took about probably 20-25 minutes. And uh, you know, especially if you're like me, you're not that careful with your X-Acto knife. You've got to go a lot slower than other people. There's the piece cut right out. As you can see, I've got the remaining parts. And the next thing I'm gonna do is get rid of just the black parts again. And that's pretty easy. Basically just cutting it out with a pair of scissors. Now, got this middle part. Then I've got the outside shape. Now I still need the outside shape, so what I did was I printed out a new piece of paper with the logo on it and cut out just the outside barrier, or borders I should say. So now I've essentially replaced all the black printed areas with just holes, and that's my template. Put the position down and I will use a little bit of tape to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. 
All right, so I put a bunch of tape to keep it down, and I think it should work. And I'll do the same here. I do realize that this scotch tape will probably block some of the paint, but I can actually relocate the paint later on, on the second round of painting. Of course, you got to make sure that all surfaces are pretty much covered. Assuming we don't need that much. Now I'm just going to wait till this dries out, maybe give it overnight. Now that I'm done with the banner pretty much, I made myself a stand I, out of uh, leftover balsa wood parts. You can always get any of these balsa wood parts from any craft store uh, and I think they might sell them in, at Walmart as well. But uh, it's basically a large T and uh, I, I just used the uh, nails, really tiny nails like this, nailed it together. And uh, what I'm going to do now is put, put this banner on top of that like so and staple it right there I used the uh, three staples myself a banner here are my banners I made two of them and I did end up getting the SDCC exclusive Kalo Ren so it's nice to be able to give you guys a comparison shot here uh, but basically I made one and it didn't come out well at all it has a lot of imperfections if you if I just zoom in very close here you can see that there's a lot of inaccuracies and the reason for this is because the template that I used was made out of paper and tape um, if it was very rigid material like uh, I don't know like metal uh, this wouldn't happen this it would be a lot more accurate but uh, you know I don't know of any other better methods to use so anyone who has any a better idea on how to make this pattern definitely let me know in the comment section but hopefully somebody will either make one from metal or 3D print it someday. <laughs> that would be nice. But anyway, this is what it looks like with uh, General Hugs and some Torb Troopers. Um, and then I made another one. And this is what it looks like with a 4-inch figure. I think I have no plans for a diorama, but it would be really cool to use this banner for our diorama but uh, here is Kylo Ren six inch Kylo Ren with that uh, banner I wanted to show you guys the back of it too actually uh, I ended up using a larger base here and again this is using leftover balsa wood and stapled on which is you know kind of a, a nice little addition to Kylo Ren I think now of course it's not as nice looking as the San Diego Comic-Con which is really accurate I mean that's printed on there and mine is you know spray painted on and also it has a very cool base so but as a background piece I think it's pretty cool but let me know what you guys think. Any comments and suggestions are always welcome in the comments. And uh, this took about probably three to four hours uh, for every banner that I made. Now the paper and tape itself, of course, isn't that much of a cost. But uh, the spray paint 
one can is about a three dollars to four dollars each so that's really the cost of to doing this and of course the the red um, cloth um, I have some gray cloth as well I'd like to try this with maybe when I have time but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this little experiment as usual thank you so much for watching and hearing me ramble I will see you guys on the next video